Hey everyone, so the YouTube channel Sense Islam released a video talking about Russia is going to make Ukraine give up. So I really want to hear what these guys have to say and what do they really mean by Russia is going to make Ukraine give up. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. How's it going? Are you able to open your eyes and smell the fresh creamy coffee? Hear the birds chirping, freeze yourself in the snow. Oh, See the too much snow. <laughs> it needs to go to where I live anyways. All those good things you think you can do and feel good about, even on stressful days. But do you know that many people will be devoid of these blessings? In fact, I will say that they are forced to do so. I am referring to the situation in Ukraine. Hmm. Imagine how many lives are lost and will be lost. We cannot imagine staying away from our loved ones for a very long time. What about the possibility of them being killed due to some political gains? We all know the end result. <laughs> Politicians will shake hands, greet one another, sign some treaties and go back to their comfortable, luxurious lives. But a wife will be waiting for her husband to return. A husband who went to war to defend his motherland for a noble cause which is a line drawn by colonists or kings. A mother will be waiting for a son, while a young child will wait for his or her father to return. I don't understand how nationalism can be perceived as unity, love, or even peace when all that it is is that it is destructive and divisive. For those of you who do not know about the issue of Russia and Ukraine, well, today marks day four of the Russian invasion into Ukraine. More the Russian days troops now. are closing in on Ukraine's capital, Kiev, days after Russia's leader ordered a full-scale invasion from the north, east and south. In a pre-dawn TV address on the 24th of February, he declared Russia could not feel safe, develop and exist because of what he claimed was a constant threat from modern Ukraine. Airports and military headquarters were hit first then tanks and troops rolled into Ukraine from Russia, Russian annexed Crimea and ally Belarus. Ukraine, a democratic country of 44 million people with more than 1,000 years of history, is the biggest country in Europe by area after Russia itself. It voted overwhelmingly for independence from Moscow after the fall of the Soviet Union and says it aims to join NATO and the European Union. Putin has demanded guarantees from the West and Ukraine that it will not join NATO, a defensive alliance of 30 countries. He also wants Ukraine to be demilitarized and become a neutral state. But in January last year, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged US President Joe Biden to let Ukraine join NATO. And this greatly irked Russia as it does not want Ukraine to move towards European institutions such as NATO and the EU. I cannot take sides because as a Muslim, it does not bother me which side is right. By the way, both the West and Russia have committed crimes against Muslims. There's always a narrative or side which we cannot see. In the case of the US and the West who are backing Ukraine, is centuries of colonism, the list of unprovoked invasions, occupation, wars, destabilization, economic sanctions and domestic discrimination of its Muslim minorities. Well, in the case of Russia, have we forgotten its historic and deep hatred, aggression and wars against the Ottoman Caliphate? or even the 45 years of brutal communist rule in the Central Asian, Balkan and Caucasus Muslim countries. Have we forgotten Afghanistan, Chechnya and Syria so quickly? The hypocrisy I came across is Jewish settlers in occupied Palestine spoke about Russian expansion or occupation. We pray for innocent families, men, women and children to be safe. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them ease. Amin. We will discuss this further with more insights and war etiquette in Islam. Let's pray for peace. Brothers and sisters, pray for Islam peace. gives you the strength and guidance to face any difficulty in life. May Allah help us put an end to this chaos, war, hatred, 
and filled the world with love and Islam. Amin. That's it for today, guys. What do you think of this situation? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, most people here just want it to end. People want peace. People want to live good lives. People want to be able to just, you know, go to work, do their jobs, provide for their families, have amazing experiences, travel, love one another, have, you know, great family dinners and everything, make money, uh, learn, educate themselves, follow their religions, exercise their spiritual practices. And people want to do that to the fullest extent. And they want to do it in peace. People don't want to be bothered and having to worry about war and fleeing their homes. It's just, no. And, you know, the narrator of this video is, they, they touched on something and said that, well, you know, these nations, whoever is right in this case, and whoever is the good guy in this case, you know, sure it could be in this context, but these nations also have done some pretty bad things. Not just to Muslims, but other people. You know, they've committed great cri crimes against humanity and in many cases have just uh, walked away with nothing. You know, just washed their hands to the situation and that's it. Either way, let's still not forget that there's people there that are losing their lives, people there that are getting separated from their families and that must be hard you know, the hardest thing in the world when your governments are making decisions for you that are affecting your life. And, you know, when governments impose what they want on other countries by force and aggression like this, it's just, people, the people don't want that. The people don't want this, touch. well, I should say most people. There's some that are like, yeah, 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 let's go, let's take it, that's right, you know? But that's the small minority of people. So as much as, yeah, we enjoy a lot of freedoms, you know, we enjoy a lot of peace, various different countries that we may be watching from, you know. I know in my country, we experience relative peace and it's great, it's a great feeling. You know, it's a, the sense of security and opportunity and just peace of mind, you know, it's great. But then, you know, we have events like this where people are forced to leave their homes and running in fear of their lives. It's just sad to see. It's sad to see that in one place things can be so peaceful and in another place it can be in turmoil like that. Hmm. But yeah, either way, pray for peace, hope and wish for unity and that things don't really escalate. And whatever that looks like, you know, whether it's practicing your your religion, uh, whether it's, you know, doing some good work, you know, doing charity work, being nice to people, whatever that is to help foster peace, unity, love, let's do more of that. Because there's people out there that really, really, really need it. We definitely don't want what's happening between Russia and Ukraine to keep on escalating. So yeah, let's just keep spreading the love and the peace, guys. Either way, that's my two cents on this. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.